Hello watercolor lovers. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, because I just purchased a couple of the um, Betty Hayways brushes and I live in the United States so I had to wait <laughs> for them to ship from the Chelsea Paper Company uh, for a good while, uh, like three weeks or so before I got them in and I wanted to show them uh, to you and kind of give you my take on if they're worth um, the price and then the weight um, because I know they're kind of like the big hot thing on YouTube now and I'm definitely guilty of looking at YouTube videos and um, and everybody's getting it and I'm like oh my gosh that looks so much better than everything that I have <laughs> I want to try it too so <clears throat> I purchased uh, just a couple just the the little zero for details and then a seven because I thought that was about the average size brush that I use um, I have a pad of paper out and I'm thinking about trying to do a small painting with these brushes so I can really get a good um, idea of how they work <clears throat> but uh, even this 8x8 eight eight is much larger than I usually paint I usually would cut this down into like I don't know four by five inch pieces or something like that so anyway um these are the brushes that i ordered um of course again the zero for details and then the seven because i thought that'd be a good everyday brush you can see that they do have a fantastically sharp point on them they have a little bit of the gum on them still i did rinse them off and feel them um but they've dried since then so <clears throat> But this is what they look like they are beautiful of course um, but I wanted to kind of give you an idea of w how they actually um, bounce back because for me personally I know that one of the big brushes that everybody loves are the silver black velvets and this is a size 8 of the black velvet and they're very soft and when they get wet they they don't have a whole lot of bounce back I don't think so um, I wanted to kind of show you how they compared in about size wise and um, their bounce back ability to like a sil uh, see. so like the silver black velvet and then like a Princeton snap which is what I usually use because it's got a really good uh, bounce to it so uh, of course the black velvet is a it's got some but it's a little bit less but the snaps been very <laughs> bouncy and that's kind of what I was like uh and uh, questionable about buying the whole set of these because I wasn't sure if they would be too soft I honestly when I, I started with the snap brushes because I like having more control and being able to use them to scrub and then I uh, purchased the black velvet because it was all the rage on like YouTube and I was like well that looks amazing and I would like to try it um, sorry, trying to get it to focus here. Um, and then when it first came in, I was actually a little bit disappointed with it. And it actually was just not my favorite brush whenever it first came in because I was like, you know, it, it's okay, but it's really soft, uh, compared to my snap brush. So I just wanted to give you kind of an idea of how the Betty Hayways, in case you like me, try to be a little bit more conservative when you're purchasing brushes when it especially especially when it's like oh do I really need another brush in like my preferred size that I usually use could I not just reach for one of the two that I already have um so I'll show you kind of um size wise comparison wise so this snap is a six this black velvet is an eight and then this is a seven for Betty, Betty Hayways so let me rinse it off really quick And dry it off <clears throat> okay so like here's our seven for Betty Hayways and you can really see that it's got that snap back just like a Princeton snap brush would um, a little better I'll even get this wet here so we can really have a fair comparison of the point and the snap when they're wet so like here's my Princeton snap got a good bounce back um, the point I wouldn't say is as great on the snap brushes but it does come to a good point and this has been obviously used uh, quite a bit it's well loved 
So here's my Betty Hay Ways. Excellent snap, beautiful point. It's got such a fine, tiny point on it. So um, I'm excited to try that out. And then here's just a silver black velvet for you. With regards to what I was saying about just how soft they are. And I know that that is a lot of people's preference. Like they do come, kind of come back, but they're just, they're just so soft. They, like if I press it on my paper, it's going to kind of keep that, that shape, that where I pressed it. So it's just a lot softer. Um, like a Princeton snap, if I press it on my paper, it bounces back. And Betty Hayways, it bounces right back. So sorry that if that's difficult to see uh, with my brown background, but um, <clears throat> that's more of what I prefer in a brush personally. And I know everybody's preferences are different. A lot of people really, really love a soft brush. Uh, my own personal preferences because I'm fairly new to watercolor and I like that little bit of extra control that I have. I prefer it to be, um, to have that, that snap back, that bounce back. So, and here um, is my Zero in Betty Hayways. Sorry, I will focus it in just a second. I'm rinsing my other one off. Here's a Zero and a Princeton Snap. So these are the same size, Betty Hayways and Princeton Snap. I, I purchased the Betty Hayways Zero because the Snap is the smallest one I have, my, the smallest watercolor I have, brush that I have, sorry. And it is, I don't know how well you can really see that the end of it, waiting for it to focus here it has like a slight kind of curve to it and it has a tendency to get like here put this down oh I hit my camera sorry it has like it'll get like one um random hair that <laughs> will drag along the paper and I I can't stand it so when I saw all the reviews about these and I wanted to try one I was like well I'll go ahead and get it for detail because they say how beautiful the point is and they are not lying now I haven't used it yet it hasn't got any wear and tear on it so I don't know how well it'll hold up um, hopefully it will hold up really well it's it's beautiful though um, it's got a gorgeous point on it so I'm really excited to try it I just wanted to show you like I said to kind of give you a comparison size wise it's always so difficult um, to order a brush online because you can't really see but like the on the left is my Princeton snap and on the right is my Betty Hayways brush and these are both a size zero and then again this is like the normal size for me that I would use so Betty Hayways on the left that is a seven in the middle is my Princeton snap and that's a six and on the right is my silver black velvet and that's an eight so um really excited to try these out but i wanted to show you size wise how they compare and then um give you kind of an indication about how they would bounce back and and what the point really feels like on them because you can't tell that online and in the store if you were lucky enough to live next to a retailer that actually sold these you know they're gonna have that gum on them so you really can't you'll destroy the bristles if you try to snap it in the store so um wanted to be able to show you kind of what that one how that one handled so um and now i think i'm going to find some music and give them a shot and see how they perform i'm going to use this fluid 100 hot press i don't typically prefer hot press i like cold press paper but i wanted to try i wanted to use my neo color twos today i don't want to say try out um, I've not really made a painting with these Neo Colors, Neo Color 2 since I purchased them though. Um, I made like a quick, and this one broke, they break very easily apparently. But I made like a quick little um, sketch with them and that's about the extent, and swatched them. And that's the extent of how much I've played with them. So I want to actually use them and give them a shot today and see how I like using them. Um, on hot press paper because I don't typically prefer using my watercolors on hot press paper because um, it just doesn't soak in. Look at that. They've already made some marks. That's fine. I will work it in. 
but I'm gonna find some music and then I'm going to uh, paint paint something a paint draw something uh, I'm gonna make something <laughs> Hello, me again. Um, so I actually neglected to tell you whenever I was talking about how these brushes are such a hot ticket item on YouTube. Um, the reason, the reasoning as to like why they're so, um, so popular I think right now, from my understanding, and I had, I did not research these brushes, but from my understanding, listening to YouTubers, these brushes are 100% uh, ethically made, vegan friendly, syn fully synthetic brushes. And that is something that um, a lot of YouTubers in the art community value very highly. So um, I think that's a lot of why they're so, um, <clears throat> so popular right now. And I, they're probably, I think they're probably also a little bit newer, but um, that was something that I neglected to mention and if that's something that you value very highly um, that could impact your decision on whether or not you choose to add these brushes to your collection so I wanted to let you know in this little narration so I did spend some time with the brushes this afternoon I painted this adorable pug Toshi in his little knit sweater I got his photo from Unsplash where his owner Charles Deluvio so kindly uploaded him for us to look at and uh, spend some time with this afternoon. Um, I <laughs> did enjoy using the brushes. I thought they were fabulous, but I spent so much of my afternoon uh, today and my evening tonight uh, <sighs> screaming internally because I forgot that I really hate hot press paper and I'm gonna obviously keep this paper and use it uh, I'm gonna use it for my gouache but I forgot how much I hate this paper and how the paper how the pigment just like sits on top and it you can see every brush stroke in every layer and I was really uh, bummed whenever I, I remembered it about a third of the way into this painting so um, another point of frustration for me in this painting <laughs> process was that I did not purchase, when I purchased my Neo Color 2s, I did not purchase a black. Um, I just figured if I need a black watercolor, I can either mix one or I actually have, I do have some black watercolors in my collection. So as you can see, I am uh, mixing off to the side there. I've got the whole, the core high chroma set, um, and I decided that I was going to try that, and um, because I, it's also newer to me, and I thought I'll see if I can mix a nice true black with that. And I just could not. It's the set includes quinacridone magenta, pyrrole orange, cobalt teal, dioxazine purple. Uh, green gold and Quinn gold and I tried every combination of complementary colors in that palette of the high chroma set and I just could not get a good black um, he's a lot warmer than I wanted him to be as a result I really wanted him to be cooler than he is but that's okay he is still absolutely adorable so um, and looking at his cute little puggy face definitely did help me deal with all of my internal screaming this afternoon um, but that is really kind of beside the point the brushes themselves did a fantastic job every time I picked one up um, I was happy with it they held a good amount of water they pushed the pigment around and moved it around on the paper really well um, scrubbed it up and lifted really well whenever I needed it they came to that fantastic point and they did a great job whenever I was trying to get fine details in the eyes. So the brushes themselves I was thrilled with. Um, I just was frustrated because of my own silliness and not just getting up and going and getting a black. I just stubbornly refused to do that and fought uh, the paint and the paper all afternoon. 
so I'm going to look forward to painting again, but using my lovely cold press Arsh's paper and not being angry the entire time so that I can really enjoy my brushes. Um, that being said, like I did go ahead and order the rest of, well, pretty much the rest of the set, all of the sizes that I figure I will actually use, I did go ahead and order. Um, and I would say that if you're looking for a firmer brush, um, that these are excellent and you may want to consider them. And, and I would say they are worth the money and they are worth the wait, the time waiting uh, for shipping if you're not um, in the, I think it's in the UK, the Chelsea Paper Comfort Company. So, um, but overall, I, uh, I really enjoyed the brushes themselves. And I hope that this um, brief little review was helpful and helped you make any decisions that you might have been uh, trying to come to about whether you wanted to add these brushes to your collection. And I hope that you also enjoyed seeing Toshi's adorable little puggy face and that it made you smile just a little bit because <laughs> it made me smile, that's for sure. It's just so, so precious. So. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I will try to get back to you. But thanks for watching and I hope you have a great night.